there's nothing that makes Angelinos more nostalgic than streetcars. The fact that most of today's Southern California residents aren't old enough to have ever ridden on a streetcar doesn't seem to matter much. Between 1901 and 1963, wherever the yellow cars and the red cars laid down their tracks, people followed, building homes, establishing communities, and bonding into cities. Metro Rail's Expo Line, opened not quite a year ago, runs mostly at street level, but it's really a new light rail system that's built on top of an old streetcar line that stopped carrying passengers in 1958. What the old and the new have in common, besides the route, is that overhead wire that provides the power for the electric motors that drive the cars. To ride a real streetcar nowadays, a Los Angeles Transit Line's yellow car in this case, requires what can be a long drive to the Orange Empire Railway Museum in Paris. It's about 75 miles southeast of Los Angeles City Hall. But to have the full streetcar experience, moving in and out of stop and go traffic in a crowded city, well, that requires a trip to San Francisco and a ride on the Muni's F line between the Castro and Fisherman's Wharf. Catch a train and I ride away. This brief shot shows a streetcar painted in Pacific Electric Red that occasionally is in service on Market Street. Here in Los Angeles, there's a place where streetcars still run amid high-rise buildings, providing reliable mass transit at nearly every street corner. It takes moments like these to make us realize that what we're looking at are very realistic HO scale models of our beloved red cars, the yellow cars, and some green cars that look a lot like the ones that used to run in Philadelphia. This is the very unusual traveling streetcar display built by the Southern California Traction Club. It's what's called a modular layout. It's made up of pieces that are transported and set up for shows, for special events, and then taken down and put away until the next time we use them. Which is about eight to 10 times a year in places as far away as Las Vegas and the San Francisco Bay Area. When all the modules are put together, the Southern California Traction Club's layout measures 16 by 26 feet, which is way too big to move from place to place in one piece. Another thing that makes the Southern California Traction Club unique is its insistence on realism. Absolutely everything on the layout has to be a perfectly scaled miniature. It's something club member George Jones is adamant about. Just because it looks right. To me, to see a model truck out there with a wheels 11 feet wide across the back of the truck with an eight foot bed, you, you, you can't have it on the highway, so why have it on the land? When George puts it that way, the club's insistence on realism and super detailing makes some sense, which is why we have waited until now to introduce you to George Huckabee. He's one of the Southern California Traction Club's founding members. I'm the overhead wire hanger. All the overhead wire that you see on the layout, I'm, I'm the one that does that. By now you've probably figured out that the demand for realism on the Southern California Traction Club's layout means those miniature overhead wires, which are easier to see here on one of the club's workbenches, provide the electricity which drives the model streetcars exactly the same way as in the full-sized world. There's so many things that can excite you doing this. Hanging wire, painting a car, uh, researching what the correct number is, researching the correct destination sign for a car. You could even get to the point of saying, oh, wait a minute, car 717, oh, no, that only was used out of this barn and used on those routes. Members of the Southern California Traction Club are usually working on new modules. This HO scale model of a subway is one of them. Appropriately enough, it fits underneath the regular layout at the perfect height for kids. They love it. In fact, uh, you'll see there's a lot of nose prints on here from little kids who will stand at, at this not letting the, the adults even uh, get a, a view, they will, they love to uh, just watch the trains go through there. Ultimately, it is all about love, although the guys in the Southern California Traction Club might be a little uncomfortable using that word. It's their love of streetcars, large and small, their loving attention to details on everything from the electrical wires to the people who populate their layout, and not to be overlooked is their passion for sharing their love of all of these things. In a word, it's all about real. Rare opportunity.
opportunity to see that layout. Southern California Traction Club's layout coming up June 15th and 16th out at, where else, the Orange Empire Railway Museum. It is a long drive, but well worth the trip. Again, that's June 15th and 16th, the Orange Empire Railway Museum in Paris, California, way out by Riverside. We have more. It'll be with you when we come back.